Hello and welcome back to Vixen Purples Crochet and More. I am your host, Cheryl. Uh, today is April 13th. <laughs> Just had to stop and think for a minute of 2024. Um, hello from Colorado Springs, Colorado, Colorado, where I reside. Um, I have been here since about 2008 and I love it. Today we are having some gorgeous weather. We're supposed to get into the high to mid uh, 70s today. So I have the house open and I have life noises going on. You will hear a very talkative Miss Holly who is a husky and she likes to have attention. You'll sometimes see my cats, Sweet Pea, my gray and white one, or my, my white looking crazy cat, which is Rags. And you will also hear Oscar and Rascal somewhere back there. If they're not getting into trouble, he was getting into trouble earlier, but now he's settled down for a little bit. So today I have some videos to make. I am doing my series of let's go through my totes and well, let's see what's in my totes or something to that effect. And I just wanted to kind of show you guys some contents of stuff that I have gotten in the past that you guys have never seen before because I started my channel about two years ago, well, two and a half years ago, I think now, <laughs> it's been a while, so, um, <clears throat> pardon me, so I have stuff that I have bought through thrift stores, um, through Hershner's, Yarn, uh, Yarn Inspirations, um, Premier Yarns, um, those are the only ones I really buy, it, and basically from the thrift stores, um, or Joann's, or even Michael's. Those are the other places I buy from. Anyhow, today I wanted to go through this tote. I have a tote here that is a 58 quart. Let me show you what's in the size of the tote. So you can see it's a pretty good sized tote. And I'm going to set this right here. I do apologize. I should have pulled one of my totes down. Hold that thought. Sorry about that weight. I just thought of it before I even... I just got to get it done. Get it done. You know how that is. <laughs> um, in this tote that I'm showing you guys, I have a whole bunch of stuff. Most of the stuff I have gotten either through the thrift store or I have gotten through um, Mary Maxim as their mystery, mystery boxes. But these guys, I know for a fact, I got at from the thrift store. And I've got my glasses here, so I'm not running to go get them, that, which is a good thing. So I'll put them on. <laughs> so I have in this tote, um, it's called Patton's Brilliant. Let me get a better tag so I can show you. This is it. And it's a gray sparkly yarn. Very, very pretty. And unfortunately, they've got the information covered up. So... I've got one here. This is, um, oh my gosh, 69% acrylic, 19% nylon, and 12% polyester. These are approximately 166 yards, 153.51 meters, and it's a 5 gram ball, and it's a 1.75 ounces. And I have four of these. I thought that was really pretty. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with them. One doesn't have a um, ball band, but that's okay. But like I said, I picked these things up from the thrift store. And I may have, for the four of these, I may have paid like a dollar or, or a dollar and a half. It all depends on what's what it was going on at that time that I bought these. The other thing I have in here is either a, a Jamie yarn or a Super Saver Pompadour yarn. So the only thing I can go off is by this one is, is this one I have is Red Heart Pompadour yarn. It is a peachy color and it has a spit of a sparkle in it, but I also have this lavender color too. And this is the size of the ball that I have. So this one doesn't have any labels, but it's a baby yarn for sure. And it's a very a thin weight. And I have these two. So that goes in that one. 
Now this one doesn't have a ball band, but I think this is the um, Red Heart Luster yarn, but I'm not 100% sure. It is an extremely thin, thin yarn. Very lace weight. So I have that. The other thing I have in here, which is kind of surprising that I have two of them. Let's see, are they the same color? Um, so I have two of these baby brunette baby coordinates in buddy blue. I have had scrap balls of this stuff and I've used up quite a bit of it, but I have two of these in this tote, which I should probably put together somehow. So the other thing I have, you guys saw this on one of my last totes and remember I said, I, I have more of it. I just don't know where it's at. Well, I found it. <laughs> so I have in here is four of these red heart gumdrops. Um, it's a four ounce ball. It's 113 grams. It's 204 yards, 187 meters. And this is the colorway rock candy. I have four of them in here. So that makes I have five now. Um, I don't remember if I got these in a Mary Maxim mystery bag or if I got these somewhere else. No, I think I got these in the mystery bags at one time because it, they had did four of the, the, the same yarn. And they do that quite often with those mystery bags. Also, what I have in here is a Burnett um, Softy Baby in the color. It looks like white. Yep, white. And like I said, this is stuff I find at the thrift store. Um, this is 140 grams, 5 ounces. The approximate yardage in here is about 362 yards. And it's a white. So I'm, I'm debating on, I may keep this out and either use this with my, 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 uh, <laughs> gosh, I can't even talk today, guys. I'm sorry. My, my poncho that I'm making with the granny squares, <clears throat> these ones out of the, um, loose and threads, uh, ombre hues. And I'm thinking about either adding white to this, but I also have a huge purple ball of baby yarn that I'm thinking about putting with this as well. I haven't made up my mind. So I'm going to put this aside <clears throat> so I can figure out what I'm going to do. Sweet pea, you're in the way. Also, what I have in here is some more uh, like baby coordinates. I don't know if this is I don't know if this is from Red Heart or not. I don't remember this yarn too much. But I have this one. It's no ball band and it's in a pastel colors. It's got blue, greens, pinks, and yellows in it. But I also have, and it's not very bumpy. It's like that pom pompadour, but it's, I don't think it is. And then I have in this box as well as baby coordinates in a blue, solid blue. Um, this is, where are the, this says it's 160 grams, five and a half. Six, yeah, 5.6 ounces and it's a 75% acrylic 22 rayon and 2.6 nylon and it's in a blue and it's got bumpies see the bumpies <laughs> so there's that in here I also have I have two <clears throat> of Red Hearts, and it's a worsted four. It's called Red Hearts Baby Soft Steps. Honestly, I don't remember this um, when I first started crocheting. So this could have been out for a long time, I don't know. This is five and a half ounces, or five ounces, 141 grams, 256 yards, this is in the colorway uh, white, and I have 
two of them. I don't think this is a full ball, but I don't know yet. I don't remember if I got this through the thrift store. I think I did get this through the thrift store. Um, I just don't remember anymore. Uh, what else I have in here is... I may have gotten this from Hobby Lobby when they had their clearance, and I had forgotten about it, and I just didn't show. But it's the ice cream... Um, yarn here's what it is and I have two of them and they were a dollar 24 on clearance and like I said this is probably well older clearance but this is called pistachio on this so I have two of those in this tote um I also have in this tote a ball of this gala yarn it's called mixed fibers it says it's acrylic, polyester, and nylon. At one time, it was at Big Lots for a dollar. And it's 50 grams, and it's 1.76 ounces. And this is what I have in there. So I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with it. It's very much a roving style. You can see that right here and there. If I get the finger to work on that so what i also have in here which i should probably take out is two and i know i got these from <clears throat> the mary max some mystery bags and it's called the um patents hamster yarn and it's uh 3.5 ounces it's 190 yards and it's 174 meters. It's a 100 gram ball. I have two of them in the hamster. I don't know what I'm going to do with that one. Honestly, I'm not crazy with the, the feel of it. But who knows? We'll see what happens on that part. The other thing I have in here, and I know I bought these at a like flea market, um, antique market show. And I think I paid like a buck or two a piece for them. And this is the Mary Maxim's Best Value Acrylic. Um, and this is the colorway Rich Red. And this is, let me find the specs. <clears throat> it's uh, 300 and... 12 uh, meters 342 yards and it's six ounces it's 170 gram and i got two of these and this is uh, enough to do a probably a hat and scarf with on this for yeah about a hat, hat and scarf with that in here i also have some mary maxim scrub it in the color blue and this was for sure in a um, mystery bag that I had bought, and along with these guys. I remember these guys being in a part, since these are um, five weight. I should take them out of here and put them in with my five weight stuff. Um, I am going to mess up the name because it, I'm, I know it's going to be. It says hand something... Here's the label. Whoops. There's the label. And this is a color. Doesn't, doesn't say color. Um, it was. Doesn't say color. It doesn't even give me very much information on it. So I, it feels like it might be acrylic. But anyhow, it's a gray color. A dark gray. It almost looks black. But I have three of these in this tote. So I'm going to set these aside so I can put them with my five weight stuff. <laughs> the other thing I got in here, I thought I would definitely use, figure out what I'm going to do with it. It's called Fair Isle Sutton yarn. It's a bulky, it's 109 yards. And this is what it looks like. And this has got 109 yards. It's 119 meters, 100 gram balls. 
and it doesn't show a color that I'm aware of, but I thought that was pretty nice. I haven't figured out what I'm going to do with them just yet, but I'm going to set them aside because they're the bulky. The other thing I have in here is some Red Heart um, Baby Yarn. It's called Soft Baby. And this appears to be a full ball. And it's in it's 575 yards, 525 meters. It's a 7-ounce ball. And it's a 3-weight in a yellow. I could actually use this, too. I'll have to pull this out and make sure see but that's what I've got and I know this I for sure I got from the thrift store at one time don't remember the date <laughs> this was also in a Mary Maxim mystery um, yarn bags and I got four of these and it's called the simply worsted I'm gonna put the red yellows down here so I can read read this off to you guys this is 262 yards, 240 meters. It is 100% acrylic, 100 grams, and 3.5 ounces. And I got the color, doesn't say yellow. Yes, it does. So I got yellow, and I got four of those. So these are probably very well discontinued already off of Mary Maxima yarn. This is really, really soft, and I like that. Don't know what I'm going to do with it. Just haven't figured it out. <clears throat> the other thing I got was also a part of their mystery bags. And I think, let's see, I got one, there's three. I have six of these guys. And it's called the Kaptishka Batik by Jenna Yarns. It's 100% uh, premium acrylic, 100 grams, and 280 meters. And it just shows a dye lot or a color number of 5010, and it says lot number 1496. So I've got six of these. I should, these are really pretty too. These kind of remind me of the. Um, landscape, not the landscape, the ice cream yarns, but it's not the ice cream yarn. I can't wait to see what we can make with that. I think I might pull one out to make a lovey with it. Don't know yet. And then um, same specs as the other one, as the other bat uh, batik. I got it in the purple hues. I've got I've got eight of them in the purple hues. And they all look to be the same dialogues. That's a good thing. So this is what it looks like. So that is it for this tote. Let me know what you guys think. So this is going to be tote number six. Tote number six. So let me know what you guys think of this uh, yarn tote storage. And uh, see what... What, what kind of ideas you guys have got, let me know. I appreciate it. And a lot of this stuff, like I said, I've got is a mixture from mystery bags and other stuff like that. You never know what you're going to get from Mary Maxim. I like their mystery bags. A lot of the times, a lot of the times I really don't because, yeah, some of the yarn they can they could do better. And they, they've done better before in the past. But there's other benefits to that. If you like a good mystery by all means, I have more mystery bags in there all over <laughs> in this stuff. But this is just one from those things that I've showed you so far. But anyhow, guys, I am going to go let the puppies out because they are getting kind of rambunctious now. And I just wanted to say thank you for joining me. Big hugs from me to you. And thank you guys for joining, uh, watching this, this craziness and seeing what I have. Like I said, if you have any ideas or um pattern ideas that would work great with some of this stuff let me know because i'm in staritis mood <laughs> so i gotta figure out what i'm gonna do with this stuff so anyhow guys you guys take care big hugs from me to you and i will see you guys on the next video take care now Bye bye